uh, this motor, it was uh, NA when I had got it, so I had swapped it and I had it for a year. And then I supercharged it for <laughs> a year. And then I got state reps, so I had to pull it out. <laughs> That's not a good thing. All right, welcome back to Automotive Anatomy. And today I'm meeting Mr. Marty at the Dirty 30 meet. Yes. Is that nice correct? To nice to meet you. And um, so just a little background, <laughs> I came in, I saw this car parked by itself and it happened to be because it was in the shade, but it just grabbed my attention. So uh, Mr. Marty, obviously a Laker fan, um, tell us, man, what do you drive? Uh, well, it's an 87 325i convertible. And then uh, I did an engine swap with me and my partner, Jigsaw Garage. We did a 97 M3 swap on it. And then so far we just pretty much put like a uh, little appearance wise, we did like the Zender side skirts on it. Mm -hmm. We also did the Zender rear apron with the early model ES valence. And then just over the years we've redone all the suspension. The most uh, suspension has been redone. Uh, rear subframe bushings, trailing arms, everything has been reinforced. Front subframe has been reinforced. We've gone through uh, suspension, so I'm on uh, Bilstein B12, the heavy duty ones. So the ride is really comfortable. And then I kindly went for a, a daily driver. Okay. So all the cooling, everything has been redone, so I kind of do road trips. So I take it out of state a lot. I do uh, Seattle trips, uh, Las Vegas trips, Grand Canyon trips. I like to go on road trips in it. So that's what I aim for. Mm -hmm. And then we did uh, the BBS RSs will be sent out so I can get them refinished so they'll look brand new all over again. What are the current specs? Uh, they are 16 by 7.5 and, and then the tires are 215, 45 by 16. Got it. And then in the next month too, the car will be getting sent out to uh, XL Motorsports, which is a good friend of mine. He does really good paint jobs. He's going to be redoing the whole car fresh black again. I was dailing it and taking it to the drag strip because it was supercharged. Mm -hmm. I broke a few things and just from dailing it, the car paint a little like... It's not as great anymore. Right. All right, so tell us about the interior, man. What are the uh, future plans for it? Uh, seats are getting redone. All the plastics, everything, I'm going to get these redone so everything is brand new again. I'm going to buy uh, new seat belts. Everything's going to kind of get freshened up on the inside. Mm -hmm. I want to get everything cleaned out. Before uh, painting, everything will be removed. All the inside will get painted as well. I went really for a real simple classic look. Mm-hmm. Nothing too crazy, nothing that's going to get you in trouble, but something I can still have fun in. Okay. As far as body-wise and appearance, I'm going to keep it the same. And you said uh name of the, the side skirts? Uh, Xander side skirts. Xander's and then... As far as like most body work that I have done was I pulled my fenders out like a lot. So if you look at the body, everything's been pulled out a good amount. If you look at like other stocky 30s, the fender wells are not as pulled. Especially the front, you can see a really huge arc in the front. And is that because you just, are you planning to go wider or this is as wide as you're going to go? Uh, the tires that I am putting on, they're the Falcon NZs, so the walls are going to be a whole lot thicker. Mm, okay, so just prepping for that. But not only that, I want like this wall because I could like turn, I could do everything keep I can functional. in a daily. Mm -hmm. Yes, keeping it functional. I don't have to worry about rubbing, I don't have to worry about hitting dips and messing up a fender. I could go however amount of speed that I want and not have to ruin anything. Oh, okay. Interesting. And then far as height too, I'm about to keep it the same height because I don't have to worry about cracking oil pans or scraping anywhere I go. I still scrape every now and then, but I don't have to worry about any potholes or cracking <laughs> anything else anymore. Mm -hmm. Cracked too many potholes, uh, cracked too many oil pans already. Oil pans in the past? Yeah. So I swapped it because I wanted like more of like a really reliable engine and I wanted more power. <laughs> I had an M20 because I've had the car for four years. So I had the original M20 for around three years, and then I did the S52 because that's something that I always wanted. And before we put the motor in, everything was uh, resealed. So all the gaskets, head gasket, everything was redone. Uh, all the cooling, everything's been redone. I have upgraded a uh, water pump. I have uh, race line headers. I have the M50 manifold. Two and a half inch exhaust as well. The car was originally supercharged. That's why you see the dent right here. That's how I'm going to get the engine bay painted. I'm going to pull the motor out when it gets sent out so everything gets fit, uh, fixed again. Is it going to be black? 
Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna paint everything black again. So this motor was originally supercharged when it was in the other body. Uh, I had it. Swapped. Oh no, this one. Uh, this motor it was uh, NA when I had got it, so I had swapped it and I had it for a year, and then I supercharged it for <laughs> a year, and then I got state rep, so I had to pull it out. <laughs> That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing, but maybe in the future. Uh, I'm planning on maybe doing like another uh, just like a hundred shot of nitrous because <laughs> I don't uh, I don't really have like the tensions of racing or like doing stuff like that anymore. Other than that, everything is pretty much stock internally. Okay, but the, it's the base is pretty much it's done. This is the motor you're gonna be sticking with, so that's that's a good thing, man. Yeah. Well, it's it's running strong for the past couple of years now, so I can't complain. It's a really healthy motor. It's taken me on many road trips. So. That's something that I really loved about it. Because after I did the swap, that's when I really started doing like a lot of road trips. So like I took the car to Grand Canyons. I did a couple of Vegas trips, a couple of San Francisco trips. I did a Seattle wow. trip, Portland trip. And then I want to do a Texas trip coming up. I've done multiple Big Bear trips. So this is something that I really do daily. Like that's every crazy. Day. And who did the motor shop, you said? Your buddy and... Uh, me and my buddy. At what shop? Uh, Jigsaw Garage. I'm the... Me and... Uh, Jigsaw were the owners of it. Jigsaw Garage, okay. I'll so we're right there located in Omani. Oh, okay. So we specialize in E30s mainly. E30s and older models, that's something that we really love doing. This is Jigsaw Garage. We're a shop that just, we're enthusiasts on the E30s. We love working on E30s, that's something that we specialize in. And we're looking into getting into like more complete restoration. So right now, currently we're at an E30 build off with a couple other shops right now. Mm -hmm. And that right now we took part like a whole hoop and stripped it down to its bare, so we're redoing everything on it. So we specialize in engine swaps, engine rebuilding, transmission swaps, and then we want to get into complete restoration. That's something that we love doing. So that's something and a challenge that we could actually show what we do. So you guys are gonna be like the singers of singers of uh, BMW, like the Pretty Porsche much. dudes. We want to be we want to be well known, and then Jigsaw Garage. Uh, it's really well known on social media already. Mr. Jigsaw, he's well known. He's been working on E30s for the past four or five years already. So he's well known in the community. Uh, my partner Jigsaw and Excel Motorsports and uh, Tusabi Motorsports. He's a good partner and friend of mine too. He does good paint jobs. Excel, he does really good body work and paint jobs as well. Those are like the main people I want to give shout outs to. Cool. He's always been there, especially Jigsaw. He's always been there. He's always helped out. And he's the reason why the car is in the condition. And Runs. I think it's mint, man. So everything's been just pretty much a two person build. Two person build. Two person build from everything. We haven't had no sponsors, no nothing. It's just been two people doing it. Man, it's awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. I, I truly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see this thing finish, man. <laughs> I'll never be finished. Huh? It's always something you're going to be tempering with. Yeah, that's why I want to. I'm going to get it sent out because uh, when I was just like bailing it. I was going everywhere, man. And just like the supercharge, I was doing race tracks, I was doing anything you can do. I was doing drag racing in it, I was doing the donut boxes. I was going out of state, I was doing canyon runs. I was just- You were just having fun. You were enjoying the car. Yeah, I was just, well, I love driving. 